Hello, welcome to episode 32 of the new Billable Hour podcast. Today's topic is the truth about imposter syndrome. First, let's start with three breaths together. Exhale everything. Take a deep inhale. Exhale. Again, inhale. Exhale. Last one, inhale. And exhale. Today we are talking about imposter syndrome. So this whole month, every podcast episode is going to be related to the topic of authentic branding. And with authenticity, we need to know who we are. And a big problem amongst lawyers is this imposter syndrome. For those of you who don't know what that is, that is feeling like we are an imposter, feeling like we don't belong, feeling like we don't know enough, that we don't have enough experience, that somehow we got the success we have through mistakes, through luck, uh, we didn't earn it, right? This is, we're not supposed to be here. And a lot of lawyers feel this, and I've been talking to more and more lawyers who are experiencing this phenomenon. And I wanted to talk a little bit about that today, because often the remedy is kind of mindset work and convincing ourselves, oh no, we are enough, we're good enough, we're supposed to be here, all of those things. And that's fine. I have a different perspective for you, as usual, about imposter syndrome. So what happens is, through our journey to become a lawyer, we have this idea of what a lawyer should be based on established precedent, based on what's happened before us, based on the system that was built uh, on a different value system than we have today. They, people did the best they could. So there is this image, this idea of what a lawyer is, and we have done our best to conform to that. Everyone, when we've gone through school and law school and in our jobs, we have worked on conforming to be that idea of what a lawyer is. And so when we feel like we're straying from that idea, we feel like imposters, because we are. We, we're, we're basically trying to be this idea of what a lawyer is uh, when we are not that, or we cannot be that. It's not, it's not possible. And so that is that, that measurement of this ideal, and it's not even probably ideal, but this idea that, for example, lawyers need to know the answers right away. Lawyers can't say, I don't know. Lawyers can't go and research something um, you know, that a question that, you know, research a question that a client is asking, right? These, these ideas uh, can be very harmful because it's not true. That is not what lawyers do. Lawyers don't just have knowledge and don't just have access to all of the knowledge uh, um, in our brains, right? And also, it takes time to learn things. And so, especially when you're a newer lawyer and you're learning things, you may not know things. And so, you're going to feel like an imposter, but it doesn't work that way. And we know this deep, deep down, but somehow we still have convinced ourselves that it's not the system. It's not our unrealistic expectations, it is that we are in the wrong place. And especially if you look different than most of the lawyers, if you have different values, if you have different ways of approaching problems than, uh, is being, than, than the options that are being presented to you, you're gonna feel like an imposter. So for this week, I would like you to think about when you feel like an imposter, are you trying to be something that you're not. Are you an imposter? Why? Why are you doing this? Is this something that you thought you were supposed to be doing? Is this something that other people were doing around you? And when you do feel like an imposter, maybe it's a signal that you are. And it's good news because you don't have to be. And the podcast episodes that follow for this month, we're going to talk a little more about about authenticity and your brand, which is you and finding yourself. So the first thing is, are you an imposter? Do you think you're an imposter or actually are you an imposter because you are comparing yourself to some idea that is not you and not appropriate for you? 
that's what I have for you today. So let's end with three breaths together. Exhale everything. Take a deep inhale. Exhale. Again, inhale. Exhale. Last one, inhale. And exhale. Thank you. I wanted to invite you to a community membership that I have started based on the new available hour and based on the content in these podcast episodes. So every week I release a new podcast episode. And as you know, each month has a theme and we have a online group through my website. So you're off of social media where we discuss the topic. And every week we have a Zoom call, a group Zoom call where we talk about this topic and share insight and facilitated by me about how this affects you, this topic affects you. And we usually come away with a nugget or an action item of how you can improve yourself and your law practice moving forward. So uh, if you would like more information about that, you can go to my website, www.newbillablehour.com. Thank you so much. See you next time. Thanks for watching the video and thanks for sticking around. Before you go, I think you have one more task to do. I have a free library membership that contains the New Billable Hour book, all these podcast episodes all in one place, other videos, meditations, print materials, checklists, all your favorites. Uh, all you have to do is go to my website www.newbillablehour.com. Go now, newbillablehour.com. Just sign up. Just put in your name and your email and sign up. All right, see ya.